All right, all right. I kind of like The Last of Us on HBO Max. Well, until this past Sunday. Now, I was worried that this show would just be some kind of generic apocalypse show, but the first two episodes really proved me wrong. I honestly really enjoyed watching this adaptation of one of my favorite video games. In the beginning of this series, they built the world in the right way. And yes, they made some changes here and there, but I didn't really mind it. Because honestly, you can't have Jewel walking around carrying a ladder or a plank for 10 hours. I told you. Wanna hang out? And watch a movie? The changes to the infected were pretty good, and the story seemed to stay pretty true to the video game. Well, it did. Until episode three. Spoilers ahead. How about that infected weirdly making out with Tess? Sin, Sin City was a mafia. Well, after that scene in episode two, I knew the story would pick up with Joel and Ellie going to Bill. And I was super excited for this because I saw Nick Offerman was casted as Bill. And that whole level was one of my favorite parts of the game. And if you don't know, this level in the game where you meet Bill has some of the most iconic moments in the entire series. Iconic moment number one. Joel sets off one of Bill's traps, leaving him hanging upside down, and he must defend Ellie from all the clickers. Very intense moment. And it leaves you wondering if you could be a sharpshooter while hanging upside down. Iconic moment number two. You meet a bloater. When you finally get to the gymnasium, Big Boy comes out and starts chucking shit at you. Amazing boss battle. And finally, one of the best scenes in the entire game, after Joel and Ellie get the truck, Ellie reveals she snagged some magazines from Bill's collection. Oh, why are these all stuck together? Um. So you can understand why my excitement was through the roof for this episode. I mean, there's so many possibilities they can... What? What's that? Two of those moments aren't in the show at all? Well, I guess there's still hope for the magazine scene. I mean, at least we get Ellie and Bill interacting with... What's... Oh, Bill dies before he sees Joel and Ellie. <sighs> Listen, I love a good backstory, but was this really necessary? I get it. We want to learn about these characters in this tough situation. But what was the point if Bill just dies at the end? I was all right with the origin story. I was even okay with the love story they were trying to tell. I was even fine with the towel scene. And I was fine with those things because I thought it was building towards Bill's interaction with Joel and Ellie. In my opinion, this was the dumbest change by far. Bill is an interesting character in The Last of Us and Nick Offerman is the perfect cast. It's just Ron Swanson during an apocalypse. The opening sequence of him avoiding the government and building his own like sustainable home was amazing. Then we meet Frank, who of course is Bill's lover. In the game, it's heavily implied that they are gay lovers. So naturally, I knew this show would make it super obvious that they are homosexual. Like, they wanna make sure you know. Maybe, uh... In the game, Frank gets bitten and decides to take his own life instead of turning into one of those clickers. And if you read this note in the game, you find out that Frank and Bill had a fight. And they did have a fight in this episode. But instead of it being about resources, it's about Frank wanting to mow the lawn and decorating or something like that. Anyways, I thought this was going to be the conflict that kind of separates them. But uh, I just make up. Of course, fast forwarding a bit, we see them meet Joel and Tess. And then we see them get raided. Just want to point out, when they're getting raided, Bill is just out in the open street just shooting. Like my guy. Get behind some cover. After that, we see them old and gray beard and we realize that Frank has cancer. I think it's cancer. So after this hardship, Frank realizes he doesn't wanna live like this anymore, so he wants Bill to euthanize him. But Bill joins his suicide pack. Yes, that's right. They both drank this wine that had a bunch of crushed pills in it. And it was at this moment I realized that this gay love story was for nothing. I mean, sure, the woke normies will eat this up on Twitter, but they don't understand the great scenes we could have gotten. I love Bill's character, not only in the game, but honestly in this show too. And I wanted him to stay alive 
just a bit longer to have a mini adventure with Joel and Ellie. And Bill could have been this completely changed human being after losing a loved one. And if you still wanted him to die, there's many ways to do that within the context of this show. First thing off my head is, could have had him sacrifice himself for Joel and Ellie? I mean, I don't want to sit here and act like I'm some Hollywood writer, but this could have been done way better. In my opinion, this is one of the worst ways you could have written this episode. Oh, uh, you just hate the character because he's gay and you're homophobic. No, I honestly think him being homosexual and finding love in the apocalypse is a great story. But was it important to Joel and Ellie's story? You know, the two main characters of the show. We are given a whole backstory to a note they simply just read. If they wanted to, they could have cut it completely. And they could have just went to Bill's house, read the note, got the car, got the guns, boom, end of episode. And I don't want to sit here and say that this story wasn't well written or well acted. No, I thought it was very well done. It's just upsetting because I wanted it to mean something in the Joel and Ellie saga. The first two episodes gave me hope. Gave me hope that the writers and producers were using the source material to develop a good show. But now, this episode, in my opinion, was a major hiccup. And now... I'm back on being very skeptical of the show. But of course, I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys watching The Last of Us on HBO? If you are, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Speaking of other content, you can watch my other videos on this playlist right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.